If I had to recommend one nootropic type prescription for people, this is what it would be. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on, I guess, my time with Bupropion or Wellbutrin. I like pretty much all the Russian pharmaceuticals probably better than the USA pharmaceuticals because every single time with the USA pharmaceuticals, there's always some issue that I have with them. There's always some little, Eh, it's like something they're sneaking by, something that I don't like, so I just don't really ever trust them. And I've tried phenylparacetam hydrazide, and phenylparacetam is a drug in Russia, I think Australia too. Phenylparacetam is amazing. It gives you energy, it actually heals your body, heals your brain to a certain extent, basically activates your body without draining it. It's fantastic. It should be used by everybody, and it's a drug over there. So I'm like, wow, they, they got it figured out. Same with Fenibit. I really like Fenibit. Fenibit is a prescription over there. I was thinking, man, I don't like any American pharmaceuticals at all. And then I got to thinking, there is Wellbutrin. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with like cathinones. They're really similar to amphetamine. And essentially it's like amphetamine, but there's just like this, it looks like an equal sign in a circle above it. I don't know if that's like an oxy connection. I have no idea. So it's essentially amphetamine with this extra little part on it. But bupropion is essentially like five chloro. So it has a chlorine atom. And then it's trimethylated cathinone, I think. Normally cathinones are like amphetamine. You take them, you feel good. It's not really like something you take every single day. Like you get the effects the first time you take it. The way that Wilbutrin is set up, I don't know what they did to it, but apparently it's, it's just a lot more mild. Like you don't really have a tendency to want to redose. Gives you extra energy, gets you up and doing things, but isn't really something like a caffeine or like an Adderall. It's not really that kind of thing. It's something to take every single day, but it's basically like an SSRI, but for dopamine. Most of the SSRIs, they work on serotonin. When I was like 18, they put me on like Celexa or something and like, you know, maybe that's what fueled my never wanting to take pharmaceuticals ever again, because you just cannot trust anybody. These people don't take anything. They just read the literature that this is supposed to be good for you. Oh, this company gave me a kickback. I'm gonna go with them. I forget how we came to Wellbutrin. Maybe he like knew that I liked amphetamine. I have no idea or I liked uppers, but he didn't want to give me something like um, addictive, which would have been good for that time because I probably wouldn't have taken care of myself at that time like I would now. So you're somebody who's depressed, you know, because you, you're going for an SSRI for, right? Because you're depressed. I feel like the dopamine, it got you up doing things more. It didn't feel as weird as the serotonin. Like the dopamine boost I got from it was much more natural, much more ah, myself, you know? SSRIs, like I didn't feel like myself and I just hated them, couldn't stand them. And on top of that, SSRIs cause like sexual dysfunction in men and that's what I was getting. Another reason to freaking hate it, can't stand it. Don't have that problem with Wellbutrin. I guess I am a little bit curious to try it again. Now, Wellbutrin is something that they give you to take every single day. So if I were to have it, I would take it maybe a couple days in a row, maybe just one day in a row. I'm actually interested to see how it fares versus something like modafinil. I would think they're kind of similar, but I have just really no idea. I don't really know how, how long the half-life is, but it is trimethylated. And for some reason, when you take something like I don't know, let's just say amphetamine. And you methylate it once, it becomes stronger because it's meth. But then you methylate it twice or even three times and it becomes weaker. So I think because they methylated it three times, it's like a cathinone, but also not as strong at the same time, you know? And it's interesting because it has the, the five chloro. It's very similar to these modafinil analogs that we've been trying because they have the chloro as well. If I had to recommend one nootropic type prescription for people, this is what it would be. I definitely recommend it if you want like a non-addictive dopamine boost. One other thing about Wellbutrin is it's sold as a smoking cessation blocker. If you take Wellbutrin, and you're, you smoke cigarettes, vape, things like that, it's basically not gonna make it feel as good, which kind of sounds good, because you're like, oh yeah, I wanna quit vaping, but like, if you're a cigarette smoker, if you're a vapor, and you go to your vape and it's just not working, like that's something that you probably would wanna prepare for. You're ruining something else that you do every day, although it's bad for you, you are ruining it, it might throw off your mood, things like that, or you might wanna quit smoking and you could hop on that Wellbutrin, so. I think this prescription is kind of pricey, I'm not sure. When I got it, I think it was the Wellbutrin XL and they were white caps. Any prescription that you get from your doctor that has colors in it, 
contains artificial colors, which come with a whole host of health problems. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Wellbutrin Bupropion. I really enjoyed it. I've always enjoyed it. I really want to try it again. Have you tried it? I'll be very interested to see. If you're trying out any other new stimulants, I want to hear about those too. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.